The drama that we are going to perform is a folklore of the tribe Aonaga. It is the story of the evil stepmother. In this folklore, there are six characters. They are the father, mother, daughter, stepmother, shaman, and the villagers. In the first scene, we can see the little girl returning home happily while with her parents from the field. Hello, great day. Can you please bring for me a bird? Anything for your daughter. If it's for you, I'll knock down the sun. As the mother sits down to cook, she suddenly got ill and faint. What's wrong? Honey, what's wrong? Daughter, please wait with your mother. I'll go and get a shaman. Immediately, the husband ran to the shaman to shaman, ask for the help. Shaman, shaman. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> please come. My wife is sick. Sure, sure. Then they proceed to the house, takes a look at her, and puts on a solemn face and the shaman feels sorry for the helpless woman who is lying on the floor. Ash, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Bring some warm water. I'm so sorry, I cannot help your wife anymore. Honey, why did you die so young? Honey, why did you leave me? Please, wake up! The wife crowns and tosses in the bay the whole night and passed away in the morning. <laughs> the villager speaks up the wife's dead body for the burial. Several months after the wife died, the husband got remarried. Daughter, I brought you a new mom. Say hello. Hello, sweetie. What's your name? Your, I mean, new mom from today. It's called Roja. Come, let's have a good together. With the coming of the harvest season, it was now time for the husband to go to work. Since harvest season is coming, I have to go to the field. Please pick my things. Honey, return home safely. Take care. Take care, my daughter. Bye. I'm going to the field. You, oh, I hope you have a good harvest. Okay then, thank you. See you later, bro. The 
following day, the stepmother asked her daughter to deliver her father his lunch. No, no, come here. Take this lunch and give it to your Oba, okay? Kyojo. Right on time, right on time, thank you. Okay, take this and give to your mom. This is the kid of the day. Oh, what is it? Okay, I'll cook dinner. You go and play. One fine evening, the stepmother and the daughter were having dinner. Oh, child, does this bit bird, bird body this bitter? It's the innards. I gave you the most delicious meat, and you're still complaining? What an ungrateful child. Give me back. The stepmother continued to serve her bitter and sour fruits in pretense it was meat. The next day, as usual, the daughter went to the field to give her father his lunch. Good time, good time. By the way, daughter, what kind of song were you singing? Oh, Opa, it was just a song about the taste of the meat that you sing us every day. Opa, does the bird taste beat there? Yeah, it does. It's because it's wild. I don't understand how you eat it. The father got suspicious but remained silent so as not to scare his daughter. The father devises a plan to catch the stepmom in the yak. He sends the daughter home with the kill of the day as usual. Dear daughter, please take this and ask your mom to cook. Okay, be safe. The daughter went home and the father followed her from behind. <laughs> okay. Go and play okay. I'll cook dinner. <laughs>
Honey, I'm home. Oh, honey, you're back? Yes, I got a little early okay, today. Sweet. Let's have dinner together. Yes. Honey, have this, have this. Have no problem, honey. no problem. I'll have what I'll have. have no problem. Okay, I'll have what I'll have. Not a problem. By the way, your cooking is as good as ever. I like it. Honey, can you please come here? What happened, honey? I want to check out something. Is it urgent? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm coming. What happened? Can you please carry this basket once? I want to see if the leash is alright. What happened to this basket? I'm thinking of making a new leash. Come on, once. Okay. It's fine. Comfortable? Yeah, it's comfortable. Now come with me. Honey, please. No honey. no, honey, what happened? I know. I I'm caught sorry. you red handed. No, you I'm are so mistreating honey. my daughter. Sorry, I, did not bring, I did not marry you for this reason. No, please get out. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm sorry. <laughs> my dear daughter, please forgive me. I thought I was doing the right thing. It's alright then. I'm happy that you're Come, let's go. It's all my fault. Because of my selfish motive, I lose everything. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's At the end of the story, the stepmother realized that because of her selfish motive and cruel behavior, she loses her beautiful family and everything. Nothing happens by chance, by fate. You create your own fate by your own action. Thank you.